When Brandon first asked me to do this tutorial showing how to create a CSS sprites project using Fireworks and Dreamweaver, I thought, yes, finally. And that's not because I don't like Photoshop or Illustrator. I just find that doing the creation of the sprite itself in Photoshop or Illustrator can be a little bit convoluted using uh, uh, guides and transform panels and stuff like that. In Fireworks, you can do it by the numbers, and I love working by the numbers because that way you get accuracy. So let's get started. So I've got a file open here. It's got uh, two icons, one's from Fireworks, one's from Dreamweaver. And it's in a file I call runes.png, and the reason I call them runes is that that's how Adobe refers to these icons as runes. And the first thing I want to do is just make the, make the icons a little bit smaller. And so I select the uh, Fireworks icon. I want to make it 50 pixels high. That's what I want. Now I can do it using the scale tool and sort of try and figure it out that way, but there's a much easier, more accurate way of doing it in Fireworks. You come down to the Properties panel and you see this little uh, button here. What this does is constrain proportions. If it's not selected, it's going to introduce distortion when you change one value. But if you select it and change the value, say, to 50, which is what I want, Notice that the width comes in in the same proportion. So let's do the same thing with Dreamweaver. And now that I've got my icons created, let's uh, create the overstate that we'll use when we do the uh, hover in uh, CSS. So to do that, what you do is you just select the uh, object you want to uh, duplicate. And with your mouse held down, hold down the Option Alt key or and the Shift key, and just drag down. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, Dreamweaver. Click, hold, Option Alt, drag, along with the Shift key, and I come straight down. And now what I want to do is get these things lined up. So I'm going to come over to the Align panel, and the first thing I want to do is align them on the left edge. Make sure that they're all lined up perfectly and then I want to space them out because the spacing with CSS sprites is absolutely critical. So I'll just space evenly on the vertical axis and that will just move them out. And now what I want to do is put them right at zero zero. I don't need all this extra space. So I just select all the uh, objects X zero, Y zero, and they all move up and they're all tucked up against the upper left hand corner. This also makes it easier when you're working with uh, Dreamweaver, especially when you want to you know, move this strip up and down. Now, I've got to get these two here to be the hover states. So what I'm going to do is just darken them up. So I'm going to use a filter, and we're going to adjust color, brightness, and contrast. And I'm just going to reduce the brightness down to about minus 39. Notice it's just a little bit darker, so when I roll over it, it darkens. Click OK, and we'll do the same thing with the uh, Dreamweaver icon, or Rune. Adjust Color, Brightness, Contrast. Click OK, and there we go. I'm going to move the properties over because the next step in the process is really quite interesting. Now that I've got these things spaced out properly, you notice there's 0, and this one's 65 pixels down. This one's 130. And 130 and 65 is 195, and there it is. So they're evenly spaced now, and they're nicely tucked. I don't need all this extra room. So what I can do is just click once on the canvas and click the Fit Canvas button, and it just strips off all the extra space. Now, depending on how your layout works, you can either go with a background color, or in the case of this object, what I want to do is just have transparency in the background. I can do it a couple of ways. I can click on the canvas right here and then just choose this here from the uh, uh, the color picker, which is no color. Or you can go to modify canvas, canvas color, and just set it to transparent. Click OK. And there we go. We've got four icons. Now, the reason I'm using four, or actually two to be honest, is if you can do it with two, you can do it with 20, and you can do it with 200. The technique is exactly the same. So rather than try and get complicated, let's just deal with the two. Now that I've got this all set up and ready to go, all I need to do is just save it to the images folder 
for the page that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to do Save As, and I'm going to navigate over to my uh, Images folder, and I'm going to save this as a Fireworks PNG that will maintain the transparency. Click Save, and the folder opens. Click Save again. There it is. Done. In the next exercise, what we're going to do is actually take this strip and turn it into a CSS sprite project using Dreamweaver. I'll see you there.